everyone, it's Byron here from Black Ops Toys, and today we're doing an unboxing of the new Damn Toys 78075 Russian SSO Special Operations Forces of Russia. I believe they're Spetsnaz. So let's pop it open. Here you have some stock shots that'll help you put the figure together how it's intended to be. It's very useful. And we have the figure itself. Two trays. So we're going to go ahead and pop open the main figure right now. Here he is. Excellent head sculpt. This is actually of a Russian MMA fighter named Habib. And a pretty rare camo, which I believe is Atax FG, on both his sleeves and his pants. And we have some tan combat boots. And green gloved hands. Looks like right trigger and another left trigger hand as well. Just excellent detailing on the head with the beard and ears. <laughs> Moving in, we have this g lopped jacket, which is an excellent material. Both in and out. And the sleeves fit perfectly onto the actual figure. Always be careful with the zippers and don't pull them by the string because that will break them. Or you have a higher chance of breaking them. Just move them from the base of the zipper. And there you go. You have the jacket that fits perfectly onto the figure. It doesn't look too big, which is good. And it's not too tight, which is also good. Moving on, we have a balaclava in the same camo or similar. And we have our helmet set with our helmet cover. And in the patches, which we'll get into later, there is a, a piece of hook and loop that goes in the center of this helmet. And then you use the hook and loop on the helmet cover to go inside and hook on. Oop, that's backwards. So you would pull these under and hook them underneath the helmet to put that helmet cover on. And it has hook and loop up here for patches and for helmet lights. So it's overall very versatile. Can pull out the gloves hands. We have a pair of yellow glasses with a tan band. We have a standard headset. And we have our plate carrier vest. Lots of hook and loop all over this with mole, which is really good because you can stick uh, hook and loop patches on here or you can mole your patches on. And it is, connects right here in the front. And then we have what I believe is a Russian version of multicam for the backpack. It also has mole and a little bit of hook and loop right here. Extra set of pegs for when you break them. And I believe that is all of the first tray. Now for the hardest part, opening these. I like to make sure each side is off of where it notches in so that there's no popping. And then there will usually be a couple places where it is snapped in the place. So what I like to do is pull it up on one side that and then stick your hand in so that you can hold 
the places and slowly pop these up without scattering all of your small pieces. There you go. So here we have all the accessories. We have a padded mole belt for all of your pouches. This is actually a carry bag for the jacket. The jacket will fold up and fits perfectly in this little bag. So if you don't want to display your figure with the jacket, you can pack it up in this bag. Then you have, looks like a dual cell pistol mag pouch. You have your grenade pouches for your grenades. Sometimes damn toys will leave out the grenades on the Spetsnaz figure, but luckily these are included with the grenade pouches. Have what looks like tool pouches or multi-purpose pouches. Your tourniquet. This is what looks like a radio pouch for the VX radio up here. And then you have your single cell magazine pouches. Looks like you get four of them. Which is good because you also get four magazines. Here you have another small dual cell pouch. Let's move this guy over here. Have a small multi-purpose pouch with some hook and loop on the front. You have your IPAC, IFAC pouch, which is in the same Russian multicam. Or actually, I believe this is the IFAC pouch. And this IFAC actually has a quick detach on it, which is believe new. That's very cool. Have another multi-purpose pouch in that multicam. Another utility pouch. And then a more smaller vertical version of this multi-purpose pouch. Here's your microphone for your radio. And your admin pouch will go on your front of your vest. Then we have our little helmet light for our helmet. We have some flares. These can be used to fill out pouches. I believe they are displayed coming out of this pouch. Then you have some of your smaller accessories. Your glow stick, your red pen, your watch, These glow sticks can be put through your mole pretty much anywhere you'd like. And you have a reflective armband that is very common among the Russian figures. And now getting into the good bits, we have our camo 9mm pistol with excellent tooling. Magazine does come out. And you have your bullet. And then you have your holster, which is a hook and loop holster. I very much like these holsters. They're a lot easier to actually put the weapon in as opposed to some of the molded plastic holsters that you might risk breaking apart trying to shove that in. You get two extra magazines for your dual cell pistol mag holster or uh, magazine. And then for your rifle, you have a modified AK-74M with lots of moving parts on it. You have this piece that moves, your bolt comes back. I believe this, no, that side is molded. And you have your rails along here as well, and a muzzle brake, which comes off. Stock slides and folds, and your magazine comes out. And then your accessories for this, you have a little piece that goes on the back of your stock right here. You have your scope and your rail mount. So this will go on here. Ooh, that's a little bit tight. There we go. That will go on your rail. And this rail will slide on this little bit right here. There we go. 
you can have your site right there. Oop, here's a little headlamp that is hook and loop. So you can put that on your helmet, put it on your admin pouch, just to have a little light you can use. There's another little helmet light that goes with your helmet. That slides on the rail on the side. Here's a little sight for, I believe, the top of your scope, and it has a sticker, so you can stick that on there. Standard vertical foregrip. You have your extra AK magazines, two tan, two brown, and then one camo. And then you have these little fillers for your rails. You also have an extra long rail for one of the sides. These can be used to fill in these little pieces and you can cut them to fill however many slots you need. Because if you notice, these are five long, but these are only four long. So you can cut them and fill what you need to fill. And then you have standard black two-point sling. That goes with your rifle. You can use the stock shots to assemble this like it is shown on the figure, or you can mix and match and build it yourself. Same goes with the rifle. You can choose which attachments you want and where, where the rails go, and you can choose to fill up your spots. Ultimately, it's a very modular figure and has a lot of different options with uh, a great head sculpt of an MMA fighter and a lot of good accessories. And I believe in this patch set, you have a little special goodie in here. Here is the hook and loop pieces for the helmet. These go inside the helmet for the helmet cover. Ooh. And here's the special piece, little bantha patch. And I believe this is, must be used by um, someone in the Spetsnaz, because I believe they try to copy all the patches, at least Amtoys does. And then you have your Russian symbols and your other patches. that can go on the outs of any of these hook and loop pouches or on the jacket. If you like this video and like to be notified for more content, follow us on YouTube, follow us on Instagram, and hit the notification bell to be notified when our content goes live for more awesome build collection videos like this.